Hi everyone, with Valentine's Day approaching, I thought I would dial up the romance on Learning English Pro and bring you some of my favourite classic English love poems. I'm diving into the past to bring you some exquisite and romantic verse. And if you're a big romantic like me and want even more vocabulary and help with your English this Valentine's Day, check out my selection of videos which will help you boost your English knowledge and maybe even your romance skills. As usual, I'm including the content from today's video in the description below, so make sure to check out all the poems after the video. Our first poem in our lesson comes from the poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning. She was alive during the 19th century and was popular in Britain and the United States during her lifetime. Today I'll be covering her poem, How Do I Love Thee? How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach. When feeling out of sight, for the ends of being an ideal grace. I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need, by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with the passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose with my lost saints. I love thee with the breath smiles, tears of all my life, and if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. Our next love poem comes from William Butler Yeats, who was an Irish poet, dramatist and prose writer. We'll be covering his poem, When You Are Old. When you are old and grey and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once and of their shadows deep. How many loved your moments of glad grace and loved your beauty with love false or true, but one man loved the pilgrim soul in you and loved the sorrows of your changing face and bending down beside the glowing bars murmur a little sadly how love fled and paced upon the mountains overhead and hid his face amid a crowd of stars let's move on to our next poem from the poet e e cummings cummings was an american poet painter author and playwright the poem we will cover, I Carry Your Heart With Me, I Carry It In, is unusual in its grammar and construction. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate. For you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world, my true, and it's you are whatever a moon has always meant and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud and the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. Our next poem comes from the American Walt Whitman. He was alive during the 19th century. He is often called the father of free verse. Free verse is a type of poetry that doesn't use consistent meter patterns, rhyme or any kind of musical pattern. Let's take a look at his poem, A Glimpse. A glimpse through an interstice caught of a crowd of workmen and drivers in a bar room around the stove late of a winter night, and I unremarked seated in a corner of a youth who loves me and whom I love, silently approaching and sitting himself near, that he may hold me by the hand a long while amid the noises of coming and going, 
of drinking an oath and smutty jest. There we two content, happy in being together, speak little, perhaps not a word. For our final love poem, we are going back to the 18th century with the Scottish poet and lyricist Robert Burns. We're covering his poem, A Red, Red Rose. Oh, my love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love is like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. So fair art thou, my bonnie lass, so deep in love am I, and I will love thee still, my dear, till the seeds gone dry. Till the seeds gone dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun, I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands of life shall run. And fare thee well, my only love, and fare thee well a while, and I will come again, my love, though it were ten thousand mile. And that brings us to the end of this English lesson on love poetry. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one is your favourite in the comments below. If you're looking for more English vocabulary, there's really no better place on YouTube than my channel, Learning English Pro. It's jam-packed full of a variety of interesting and cool English lessons. Coming up on screen are some video suggestions just for you, along with the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel, so make sure to hit that to stay updated on all my latest lessons. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day, and remember, keep learning English like a pro.